that we are proud women of God and we have nothing to be in fear of. You know, and, the, and the world will always try to intimidate you, try to make you feel less than, but you know what, if you continue to feed yourself the word, Build yourself, you know what the Bible said about David, David encouraged himself. So you need to learn how to trust in the word, lean on the word, not to your own understanding, like the Bible says, in all that way to acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Be encouraged that since you are an anointed child of God, you're just awesome in Christ. Because you're in Christ. That makes the difference. Amen? We have um, comfort from God's presence. He's with us all the time. We have an eternal home, being the anointed one. You know, all things work better for the believer in God. And the thing about it is, another thing about all things that work better, all things work better for the believer is because our God cannot fail. So then when we put our trust in God, anything that we put our hands to do, we know that it will be as it'll be anointed to be blessed. Because we are here as God's vessel. We are his ears. We are his mouth. We are his spokesperson. Because we are the ones that people need to see in this dying world. They don't see Jesus anymore because he's no longer on the earth. But he's living in each one of us. So therefore, as women of God, we need to allow that spirit that's in us, let it be exude and let it be fulfilled and flourish as we continue to be the divas of the anointed women. Okay?